Gwen had stabbed me in the back and left me paralyzed. I would be out there looking for Jane. Instead, I have to sit here and wait. Well, you know, I I'm sure it's not going to be much longer. And Gwen doesn't have any money. I, I mean, and how far can she really go in a prison uniform without being recognized? And what about Jane? Gwen can't nurse her like I was. Jane has an ear infection. Gwen's not gonna let Jane starve. And she took Jane's medicine, too, right? Yeah. Let's see, Doc. Yeah. Please, oh. have some soup, Mia. You need to keep your strength up. No, Mama. My baby could be starving to death because Gwen is too crazy to feed her. And I... Look, I swear to you, if anything happens to Jane, I will tear Gwen apart. Ashley, that was yummy, right? Uh, you, you are Mama's sweet girl. Yes, you are. Okay. Oh, sweetie, I wonder what's keeping your daddy. Here we go. Here we go. Daddy should be here soon, right? Here you go. Okay. Not on these monitors. Yeah, just some news and some stock market reports from around the world. Crane Industries is a global company, Chief Bennett. Look, I'm not sure what was on those monitors when we first came in, but uh, I'm sure it wasn't that. No, it wasn't. See, the monitors must default to normal programming when they're turned on, so whatever it is that you have under surveillance is kept secret. Oh, you should be writing spy novels, Louise. <laughs> Assuming, of course, that you can write. Alistair, what was on those monitors before? I really can't say. I was uh, otherwise occupied. Liar! Where are Gwen and my granddaughter? How should I know? Because you're Alistair Crane. Oh, really? Flattery will get you people nowhere. No. I must insist. Leave. Damn you, old man. If you don't tell me where my niece is, you're gonna leave in a body bag. 